LVZ NBA Talk. Like, share, subscribe, peep game. Hey, Clipper fans, y'all suffer from delusions of grants. I understand you watch the Lakers for years, put teams together, and win the championship. So, of course, y'all finally got one that's working. You would think, that, oh, that's it. We finally got the formula. No, you don't. You don't. See, this is how idiotic y'all are. Y'all still are focusing just on one team in the playoffs. Y'all conveniently are neglecting. Y'all still got your ass whooped by Houston, whooped by Utah, whooped by Denver. Those are four play three playoff teams, two asshole. Whooped by Memphis. That's the eighth seed, asshole. Beat by Dallas. That come on, asshole. Are y'all and then y'all talk about Marcus Morris. You know Marcus Moore. We've seen Marcus Morris play before. Notice like Marcus Morris 15. Why y'all talk about the leadership and the points and the... This the greatest year Marcus Morris had since he left Kansas. And he was on the worst team in the NBA. Are y'all serious? You niggas... Y'all the type of niggas celebrate a sunny day, don't y'all? It the sun out! Okay, it's about it's 12 degrees. The sun out! Marcus Moore. Again. Marcus Moore is a very gritty, heady play. Very gritty, heady play. We wasn't giving up shit for that, though. That, we don't need him. For you dumb motherfuckers saying, oh, they don't need him to rebound. Yes, they do. You don't get nobody who plays the interior and don't need him to rebound. They gonna space him out, put him in the corner, and he just gonna shoot threes. I hope so. I hope I, I hope you're right. I hope I, I, I hope you're right. But what option is he gonna be? Two Two, three, or four, or five. Okay. Just leave it on the table so I know which days it is. There's no sense in you putting it in, in your book bag. Leave it on the table so we know what shirts to wear. What day? Go get a book. Go get three books and read. And that's what some of you clowns need to do. Get three books and read, stupid. I'm a Clipper, Clipper Nation. Nigga, you just had something to cheer. Y'all actually, for real, like I said, y'all cheer about being in second place. We just behind y'all. That's not good, motherfucker. You won. Y'all spent all that money to still be behind us. Touche, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Now, some dickhead can be, Marcus Moore, 20 points a game. He going to score that on a team that got three motherfuckers averaging at least 19. No. Um, And if he do, whose shots is he taking? Patrick Beverly, Shamit, and a, so a lot of numbers are going to drop. It's a lot of balls. They're going to have to figure a way to manage all that. Okay. Then you talk about, oh, his leadership, he vocal. It did him a lot of good in Boston, didn't it? Mm. How about Phoenix? Mm. So what you're saying is he going to be good because he playing with other players. He was playing with other players in Boston. Actually, his vocalness was part of their dissension. That's why they got him. That's why they didn't resign him. For real, him being vocal was part of the breakdown of the Celtics last year. Because it was one half in Morris camp, one half in another camp. I mean, these are just all facts that everybody knows, but you got, like, like Chris Broussard said, 
you got a guy who ain't an all-star having his best year on the worst team in the league. He not getting 17 shots a game. LVZ.